Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I'd like to bring you a speed test between the latest and greatest directly from Apple. What we have here is we've got the three musketeers, the iPad Air, iPad Mini with Retina display, and the iPhone 5S. Now what's interesting about this lineup is that they all possess approximately the same amount of processing, memory, and graphics performance. And I'll show you that in a minute when I run the benchmark tests. Just to give you a quick summary though, all these babies are running the 64-bit A7 chip with 1 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and a quad-core PowerVR G6430 graphics chip. The only difference is that the iPad Air is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz where the Mini 2 and the 5S are clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. So no matter which device you pick, you are going to get phenomenal results unlike the old times where the first generation iPad mini was running on iPad 2 specifications it, it was a slow and sluggish device in my opinion so anyway let's dive in and do a quick benchmark on this latest lineup okay so we are going to use the Geekbench benchmarking tool and we already made sure that nothing else is running in the background so let's take a look again just take off the App Store and that's all we have on all these tablets and the phone okay there we go so basically what Geekbench 3 does is it does a processor and memory benchmark okay and then you get a result in the end it's a number and then you can compare that number with the other devices and see how they perform against each other okay so let's start the uh, benchmarks on all three and uh, we're just gonna watch the whole thing because this is going to be over very very quickly Okay, so we're almost done here, and there we go. Okay, so the iPad Air comes at 1482 for the single core performance and 2694 for the multi core performance. The iPad Mini 2 comes at 1393 for the single core performance score and 2522 for the multi core. The iPhone 5S comes at 1418 for the single core and 2568 for the uh, multi core. So from looking at these numbers, you can say that the iPad Air comes in at first position, uh, iPhone 5S is number two, and iPad Mini 2 is number three. However, all the results are very, very close to each other. I really think that is impressive because no matter which device you pick, you are going to get the same exact processing and graphics power with only minor difference. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.